Okay, um, could you repeat that, uh, please? Because someone was uh, harassing me and, and at PM. I, I couldn't uh, give attention to the room, please. I'm sorry. No problem. I said, do you really believe your prophet when he said this hadith, hadith in front of you? Because you said, I know you are a liar, you are a liar. I don't know what liar. I'm showing you the hadith, the hadith is in front of you. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Muslims cannot deny it. They cannot say this is weak. They cannot say that this is fat, this is skinny, you know. This is in Sahih al-Bukhari and the hadith in front of you. It is your prophet, he said, who said that Satan sleep in your nose. Is it true? Is it true, really? You don't mind. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, Stephanos posted the hadith, right? Narrated by Horaya. The prophet said, if any one of, of you rises from sleep and affirms the routine, he should wash his nose by. Um, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that really hadith? <laughs> Oh my god, so I have a, a Satan in my nose right now. That's why maybe, uh, you know, all the time I have this, you know, uh, flu, I thought it was swine flu. Oh my god, it turned out to be, you know, it's some kind of miracle. <laughs> I swear to god, you know, it's turned out, you know, uh, sometimes we don't understand. We don't understand things and, uh, you know, but when we read, we go back to Quran and Hadith and read the things that, you know, we thought in the first place is funny, but it turned out to be miracle. You know, I thought I had a swine flu in my nose or um, I had a flu, but, you know, I just realized it was uh, a Satan. So uh, I, I will be back. I'm going to uh, clean my nose and I will be back. Okay, Mike is yours. You know, Abu, I don't know if you are really laughing at your prophet or you are laughing at yourself. You are the Muslim and you are the one who believe in this. Correct, guys? He himself was shocked. Okay, what I will do to you? This is your religion. Don't you agree with me that you have to be a dummy? When you say to me, why you are a Christian? I said, because I'm smart. You said, well, my IQ is uh, low. You know, I don't know how low your IQ, but there is no way, because you just say this is not, uh, this is funny, you know. It doesn't matter how low your IQ, but still you can know that this is not right. Yeah, and Satan, he urinates in his ears, correct? Actually, if you think about Satan urinating in his ears, makes sense. Because if you look at the ears of Abu Hanafi, they look like toilet seat. And this is explaining a lot of things by science, actually. So Abu Hanafi, you want to still believe in this religion? Satan, sleep in you. He could not find a place to sleep in except your nose. What about in the couch, in the living room? Man, this, this Satan is really bad, man. He likes the holes of Muslims. Suddenly he is in his ass. He is in his nose. He is in his vagina. He is in his uh, ears. He is in every hole. Even when the Muslim he died, they had to put a cork in his butt. They have to cork him. So what do you think? Oh, aren't you going to leave Islam? You want to stay in this religion? Do you want really want to believe in this, such a such a science like this? Uh, Abu, put a video camera on the top of you when you sleep, brother. And later post the video on YouTube to show us that we are ignorant. Show all the world how Satan sleep in your nose. Tape yourself with a slow, mo slow motion. 
I would like to see the setting go inside your nose slowly. Uh, yeah, because he have a lot of bookers inside, you know, Satan is suffering to go inside. Yeah, take this booker out. You know, how big is Satan, for God's sake? How big is Satan to be able to sleep in your nose? And you don't feel him even. Like, you know what, if a mosquito go inside your nose, it will go crazy. Satan must be a lot more less than a mosquito. Oh my God. Uh, well, uh, well, I think there is uh, something you must know. Uh, well, Satan has no physical body at all, okay? This is for sure. So, uh, it doesn't matter how much uh, Satan size, how, how big Satan is, but, you know, uh, it is something uh, not tangible, of course, okay? Or... Oh, touchable. So I think Satan is like, almost like a, um, angels. He's uh, unseen or unheard. Or we cannot, we cannot, you know. Is he a leg? Yeah, angels. So uh, Satan, maybe in your ear, in your uh, nose. I don't know that. I, I swear I got. Well, I swear I got Christian prince. You don't understand. I, don't, I have no clue whatsoever, but you said he is in, in your nose, I clean my nose, and I, I feel better, I swear I got. But I'm not, I'm not making fun, okay? Uh, because I just want to make... Okay, okay, listen, listen, Abu. Satan is made out of what? He said, you said he, have, he don't have a physical body, correct? So what he is? According to Islam, he is made from what you might. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I got in uh, big trouble. <laughs> okay. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think uh, it's time to have some, some rest, okay? Uh, I will be in a few seconds. Uh, Mike is yours, uh, Christian Prince. Well, what, 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 what happened? You will be in a few seconds. What do you mean? Listen, according to Quran, Satan is made from gas, fire gas, which means gas in fire. He's a fire. How fire sleep, man? Fire sleep in your nose? You just say to us that Satan don't have a physical body. How someone who don't have physical body, he pee? He pee what? Guys, he don't have physical body, but he do pee. What is that? He pee air? <laughs> Your prophet is really crazy. He don't have physical body. But he sleep in your nose, and he piss in your ears, and he play with your ass. Man. Oh my. Do Satan sleep? And if he is from fire, can he sleep in nose? And if he is from fire, is made. Do he piss? Go ahead. Well, uh, I think I think Satan uh, is is what Sa Satan is something you know uh, beyond my understanding. Okay, this is uh, for sure. I don't understand the physics of uh, you know physical shape of Satan. And you said he bees and you know he. Um, does a lot of things but I don't understand that what I understand that angels are living in our in, in one's beard okay that's why I have a long beard alhamdulillah but I don't I don't know about Satan because uh, Satan doesn't you know come close to any any devout Muslim uh, that's why, why I'm devout Muslim I'm devout Muslim I pray five times a day and you know sometimes I fast uh, Monday and uh, 
to this day as a, as a sign of uh, sign to Allah that I'm a good Muslim, okay? But so that Satan doesn't come to, to me and, you know, so, so and he doesn't li live in my nose or, or in my, in my 